today's episode, we're going to be talking about escapism. Just our body weight. We have three different circuits to get through and no repeats, so we're just doing. My truth's too complicated to lie down. Hi, my loves. Oh my god, I almost fell. Um, so welcome back to another vlog. I did a video Tuesday. I edited it and uploaded it yesterday. Your girl, she's in her bag, okay? <laughs> but um, and I'm vlogging today. Clearly, first of all, thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. I love y'all. Like when I say I love y'all. I mean it sincerely. Like, I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. I love every last one of y'all. And two, when I was opening up about, like, you know, being triggered, you know, from stuff that happened in my childhood with my mother and everything like that, I unfortunately hate that. Not unfortunately. I, fortunate, I, I just hate that, you know, these issues are so common. Um, but I'm happy that I was able to relate and I'm happy I spoke about it because you guys were, you know, just able to relate with me. I had a pretty decent time, pretty great time with my mom. It was really nice just seeing her and being around her. That workout was really, it was good. I got my same thing on, don't come for me. Usually like after I work out, because like when I go to the gym or if I do weights and stuff at home, I have to get in the shower. Cause I be like so sweaty. I liked that workout. It was like, didn't take a lot of my energy, but it was challenging. So I didn't sweat a lot. I don't really, I don't, I said I don't really, I don't stink, okay? Let's be clear. But this outfit, this is from Girlfriend, guys. Let me go all the way back here. See, I might show y'all in the mirror because this is so far back. But this is from Girlfriend. I got this for my birthday. My mommy bought it for me for my birthday. And it's one of those things where it's like, do I work out in it? Do I go wearing errands in it i'm doing both so yeah and i put this little flannel on over this is actually my daughter's flannel 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 she thrifted it we thrifted it head scarf is thrifted um socks are from girlfriend as well it says inhale exhale which i think is so cute don't look at my legs so i need to shave them and shoes are Reebok. so today I need to record the podcast, go grocery shopping. I'm actually going to eat out at um, a Thai restaurant for lunch. Going to reward myself that because these last few days have been so overwhelming for me. No, who texted me? Have been so overwhelming for me. Let me get off my knees, child. You was not Megan. But um, it's been really overwhelming. You know, of course, my mother was here for four or five days and just... A lot, I just be emotionally drained um, often 
Not with just her, but like, I be emotionally drained. What's another word when you talking to people? I can't think of the word. Socially. Socially drained. Um, so right after she left, and I mean literally the next day, Travis's best friend came down here. What's today? Today, Thursday. Yeah, he came down here. Literally a whole week, we had people visiting us. So I'm just like emotionally drained, socially drained. I say all that to say that I am a bit overwhelmed and I'm trying to like, I guess take it slow. Take it slow, but also do stuff like, Ooh, also do stuff that I love like I love vlogging and all right I feel like I'm just talking now but also like I be putting a lot of pressure on myself when I be doing like vlogs or any kind of content but especially vlogs like I just be wanting to make sure that I am creating content even if it's just a vlog like a chill vlog like today I want to make sure that I'm creating content that is inspiring informative and just, I just put a lot in educational I just put a lot of pressure on myself but I need to just chill and just flow. And I am getting better with it, but it takes time. Anyway, okay, let's make my smoothie. Y'all already know the deal. One thing about this camera, the battery gonna die. The battery gonna die quick. So, all right, let's, is it, is that enough light? Let me see. That's better. So yeah, that's the only thing I don't love about this camera. The battery be like, I be like, girl, everything else is pretty nice. And this is the Sony ZV-1. Yeah, Sony ZV-1, yeah, 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 yeah. But I also have another camera, the Canon M50. And I like, I really like it. Cause like, you can really up the quality when you change out like the lenses, which is what I use when I do like sit down videos. Like the Gut Hill video I just did, that was the Canon M50. Ooh. And I would tell you the lens that I use, but I literally can't remember. I'll put it on the screen if I remember to do so. Bro, I be so anxious about like doing my vlogs. It just be that first initial, initial, that first initial chat or like intro or I don't know. It's like after that, everything be really good. Set my demon straight. How much can you take? I hope you see the God in me. I hope you can see. And y'all already know I'm making my blueberry smoothie because it's so easy, so yummy, for no reason at all. Like, I don't know who told this smoothie to be this far. This smoothie's so quick. I be feeling like, I be thinking that I forgot to put something in. Baby, you make me safe in London. Bro, this battery has one bar. You know what? I hate when you rinse out a cup and then the water be kind of like in there still. Yes. <laughs> okay, I am about to drink my smoothie. My house is a mess, but I don't think I'm gonna clean right now. I'm going to drink my smoothie and I got to charge this battery. Like, that makes no sense to me why I charge this battery all night long and I'm having to charge it in between vlogging. Make it make sense, Sony. Like, who do I need to talk to about this? Because I am quite disturbed. It's just disturbing my flow. Yeah, I'm going to chat with y'all in a minute. Okay. I love recording, like I love doing our podcast. That's why it's like when when I talked about letting go of some stuff when it comes to all the work that I be doing, like I was just like I can't let the podcast go. I feel so alive when I like am recording the podcast. Um, of course I'm super anxious at first, but I don't know. That's just that's just how I work, unfortunately. 
I guess I just have I be. Um, but once I get going, like I be, I be, I be going. Like you know what I mean. Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Forty Health. What a what a what a what a I don't even know if that's recording. Let's test it. Let's see. Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Forty Health. What a what a. Let me just take a few breaths. I feel like this needs to be closer to me. Welcome or welcome back to the For the Healthy Host podcast, where we talk about self-awareness, intentionality, and mindful living and everything in between. I'm your host, Ree, and I really appreciate you for joining me today and allowing me to be a part of your journey. Okay, I can't even hold it in. Like, the intro was fire. Like, typically, I choke when it comes to, like, my little intros, but I think I finally got it down pegged. Like, I want this space to be informative and helpful to you all but i also want it to be casual like you know what i mean like like you having a conversation with your your best friend because essentially that's what's really going down in today's episode we're going to be talking about escapism escapism is something that i've dealt with for quite a while and when I was dealing with it, I didn't really know what it was. I didn't know the term for it. If you are not sure what escapism is, it is basically when you seek distractions or relief from unpleasant realities. That's right out of Google search definition. But I mean, that's it's true. Like that's a really good definition of what it is. So like I said before, the main reason why we escape is because we want to get away from our reality. Like there's something in our life that we don't like. How to escape that escapism is by creating a life that you do love. And I know sometimes that can seem impossible. Like, you know what I mean? Because as humans, you know, we have the ability to look at the world from a different viewpoint. We can think about the past, the present, and the future, which is it's it's a hindrance for us sometimes okay you can probably definitely hear my dishwasher going but that's fine um i let the camera charge um i cleaned up while i let it charge and i finished the podcast um travis is gonna edit it for me but i feel like it started off rocky it always kind of do but then like once i get into it get the groove going like it just kind of quote it just kind of flows really good today's a beautiful day and i want to be outside i need to go grocery shopping i've checked a lot off my list today um i need to go grocery shopping but first we're going to eat in like i we have not eaten inside of a restaurant and i don't know how long typically we always get it like we get takeout i don't know that's just what i've always done even before the pandemic i know things were closed but during the pandemic but even before that like i just got take out and ate at home but we're trying new things we're eating in today at one of our favorite places side time so let's go you look cute. It's a very cool brand. Animal because of how we um, it's eco conscious. <laughs> Try my best. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. I eat ramen spicy ramen on a daily basis. I would have found it in so long. But you know what? I'm not going to have it. And you know, like, I'm great at finding things here. My eyes hurt when I hurt. I like avocados. You like avocados. You like avocados. 
No, not even close. Number two, you know, I just show you a top ten. So I really wanted to share the groceries that I got with you guys. And then I'll show you what I got at the Google as well. But I don't know, should I put it up here? Yeah, let me put it up here. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys what I bought at the grocery store today. So I'm a few of you guys asked for like budget friendly. And what I did today really wasn't that budget friendly, which I need to. But the best way to like budget is to of course plan out the meals then make a list based on the meals that you plan and another thing is to use ingredients that will work with several different meals and i know a lot of people don't like to do this but eating the same food a few times out of the week because i often do that like once i'm hooked on a meal i'm hooked on it and i eat it all the time um if you can use dry beans it's cheaper to cook your beans from scratch if not canned beans don't really cost that much but the best way to the best way to budget is to like i said make a meal plan you can come down make a meal plan um then make ingredient a list based off that meal plan and stick to whole foods whole foods are definitely going to be way cheaper than um processed foods I will probably make a video, like a whole video dedicated to meal planning, making a list and grocery shopping and like even maybe cooking some of the meals as well. But for now, I got to show y'all the groceries that I bought today. I bought some Brussels sprouts. Travis really loves Brussels sprouts. I said you really like Brussels sprouts, don't you? I do like Brussels sprouts. Got some of this. Um gluten-free bread and also anytime you buy like bread that's gluten-free or any kind of specialty bread it is going to be expensive this bread is like i think at natural groceries it's like six bucks but at kroger it's like five but this is like my splurge thing we got some asparagus kale tofu i really like this tofu it's like really really firm i tried to make it like focus but it wouldn't focus Japanese sweet potatoes, sweet onion. This is like my favorite lettuce, um, red leaf lettuce. And I'm telling y'all, when you shop Whole Foods, like this is two bucks. This is two dollars. Oh shoot, I wanna show them what I got the Google, so you can leave that, sir. Put my things down. Some zucchini. Oh, I got strawberries for the kids, red onion. Tomato. I repicked these apples out. Garlic. Some oat milk. Another expensive splurge item. I like to make my own sometimes. Um, but also, I really do enjoy this brand when I'm being lazy um, and got room to splurge a little bit. I got a cantaloupe that I'm very, very excited about. Did you laugh? Yeah. Ooh, wait, you lame. Cantaloupe. You lame. Cantaloupe is not lame. It's very good. Then I got these hemp seeds, which they were actually on sale for $4.99. I was very surprised, so I bought those. Some nori for sushi. Aubrey picked out this ramen. I keep looking in the viewfinder. I got some radishes. They're so pretty. Cucumber. Dried pinto beans. White basmati rice. My favorite rice sushi rice for the sushi and then i was looking for dry um garbanzo beans but they didn't have any so i just got these canned ones i got you some more of these i didn't know if you was out or not i'm definitely out i got this for travis maple syrup i like to use these when i make my um lattes and stuff which i gotta show y'all share my moringa latte with y'all which 
I've been saying for a while and I haven't done. I got coconut aminos. We were out of that too, weren't we? Yes, got liquid aminos, coconut milk, and coconut cream because I'm always making a curry. It's literally like my favorite thing ever. Of course, Four Sigmatic Sweet Vanilla Protein Powder. Again, another splurge item, but I love it. Aubrey picked out the cereal. I didn't even really look at the label or anything like that, but I think it'll be fine. Then all that stuff was from Natural Grocers. This is from Kroger. I got uh, grape tomatoes. Then I got grapes. Avocados, another favorite of mine. I got four of them. I'm trying to, I was about to try to pick all of them up, but then limes. I love, like if I'm eating avocado, I have to put lime in my avocado. Sir, you're making a lot of noise back there. I'm just saying. And then another fave, potatoes. Yes, that completes the grocery haul. Oh wait, let me show you what I got from the Goodwill. I got this little vest. I feel like it's like real funky looking, you know, it's like a little statement piece. But I think I can make it shake. I think I can do something really cute. You said I can make it shake? Yeah, y'all, what's wrong with saying that? You, I literally have never heard you say it. You name it, I ain't even gonna argue. Bruh, wait, I've never heard you say I'd make it shake in my life. Yeah, you. When have you said that, bro? I think I may have heard you say it once, but you act like it's just like. You went from I never said it to I don't remember you saying it. I don't remember you saying it. I have no memory of you saying it. Imagine I styled it and I got a cute outfit on with it. I got these pants. At first, I felt like it was giving like scrubs, you know, like the scrubs that the nurses wear. Then I was like, you know, who cares? Um, I think it's gonna be really cute for like a chill outfit with a little crop top with some tennis shoes or something. I don't know, but I like it. And then I actually found this for Aubrey. Very cute. She loves like little stuff. She likes little, what is this, like vests or button downs and stuff like that. Like, oh, she, like, she really in the oversized jeans. Yeah, she's really in the oversized t shirt. This is cute. This is her, ain't My camera is actually about to die once again. I think I'm going to. This was originally just supposed to be one day in my life. I think tomorrow I may. I don't know. Vlog a little. Maybe tomorrow and Saturday as well. Saturday we're going to Memphis. But also I don't want the vlog to be like, I don't know. It was It's a recipe that I wanted to share with y'all. Like that's been my go-to, um, like lunch. Um, Lately I haven't been cooking at home because like my mama been here and she be wanting to buy us food. But yeah, so like who am I to turn that down? Yeah, so like my go-to lunch. I may just show that tomorrow and in the vlog there because i don't want this vlog to be like stretched out because i feel like i did a really good job at vlogging and sharing my life with y'all today yeah um but that is actually that's gonna be it for now it's not like i have a choice even if i wanted to share anything else today not like i have a choice anyway i love you guys why am i acting like i'm ending it i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow this actually may be the first last time y'all see my face so I'm just probably just gonna show you share my lunch. Um, anyways, love you. If this is the last time you're seeing my face, I love you. And I hope that you will. Mm -hmm.